we're going to go on to make another recipe that I love that's just a little bit, let's say, alta cucina, something that isn't a traditional Italian dish, but uses Italian ingredients in new ways. And that is to make green beans with pesto. And how do you do that? Well, let me show you. Okay, here we go. So again, we've cooked those green beans just as I did before. Remember, no cover. Here they are. And to make the pesto, you want to start in a food processor. So let me bring mine over. And normally we think of pesto as being something that you put on pasta. You've used pine nuts and extra virgin olive oil. But here we're using parsley, flat leaf Italian parsley. And you want about one and a half cups of packed parsley leaves. So you put that in your processor. Don't use curly parsley for this because it will have no flavor. And then a little bit of salt, either fine or coarse sea salt goes in. Here are two cloves of garlic again that I did on the microplane. That goes in. And we want walnuts here. So walnuts go in. So all you really want to do is get this pulsed up. So you give it a few quick turns. Kind of get those nuts minced up somewhat. You want some texture here. And then, again, we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil to this. I'm going to do this right through the feed tube. You want to make a paste out of this. So add enough olive oil until you start to see that it's pasty looking. You can always check it with a spoon. OK, let's see what that looks like. That looks good, if I have to say so myself. Check it. And it smells wonderful. So now we can take that out. And we're going to put it right over our green beans. Take the blade out. And just put it right over the beans. Now this is enough to do about two pounds of green beans, so I'm not going to use all of this. You can save the rest in a jar in the refrigerator and have it for something else. This would also be great over pasta. And now we want to toss that. And you see we're keeping everything green here. So this pasty consistency is great because it coats these beans beautifully. If you made it too soupy, then everything else would land in the bottom of the bowl, and you don't want that to happen. Doesn't that look gorgeous? You could dress this up with a few cherry tomatoes if you wanted to on top. But I kind of like sticking with the green theme. So now we're going to put that into a nice serving dish. You want to serve this hot. Beautiful. Give that a nice little fix up. And that's all ready to go. 